Hey guys, welcome to my house. Coming. How are you guys? Alright, so this is my house and it's pretty cozy and it's pretty chill. So this is my living room. So I used to watch some movies in here. I'm studying certificate for in screen and media. I was thinking to study uh, dancing, but my second option was film television. In Australia it's pretty expensive to study like to study dance. So I choose film television because it's pretty nice and I really like it. Actually dancing is one of my favorite hobbies. In my free time I like to dance and I'm part of a Colombian dance club. Dancing means to me passion, love and a way to show your feelings through your body. And this is my boyfriend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Julian, I'm Felipe's He's from Colombia, he's 21. <laughs> he's living in here for one and a half year. Where well, we have been here yeah, <laughs> so for four years and a half. Yeah. Almost five. Yeah, five in February. In February, yeah. I was in the last year of high school and he was like <laughs> two years yeah. below me. And then I like I started realizing he was like all the time looking at me. That's not true. That's all the not time true. looking at me. I, I, he, I was, like, he's always looking at me like all the time, like in the break, <laughs> in, all the time. I wanted to talk to him because I really liked him, but I was too afraid because in that like in that time, my friends and nobody knew that I was gay. I remember one time I was on Facebook and then I saw his message, his message on Facebook. <laughs> That's not true. And That's just, not my story. He just sent me a dot. I he didn't, didn't say, say hi or anything, he just sent me a dot and I was like, I sent another one and then he replied with another dot and I was like, and then he said hi, how are you? And then we started talking on Facebook, but like really casual, like friends. And then one time we were watching a movie, a horror movie, but we were like, we were not like saying anything like, hey, I like you, I want to be your boyfriend, something like that. And, and then we kissed. But then after that we just assumed that we were like a couple. This is from Julian, so he said like he looks like me, but I was like, no, he doesn't look like me. We bought that one in the Salvation Army. I'm pretty sure that Philip is my soulmate. I always tell him that I feel something very special for him, and he knows that. Like, I can feel that with anyone else. Yeah. We are like yeah. the same. We are just like one person. I guess that's how it works. <laughs> it's different in here than. The friends like or the people in Colombia, not all the families are the same. They grew up in a different era with different thoughts. For example, in my case, my parents are really like, they do not accept it. They think it's not the right thing to do, to be homosexual. I feel desperate actually. I had like really bad time before coming here because my parents knew that Felipe was here asking me like, are you gonna go with that guy? I'm happy because I know it sounds bad that I'm not with them. But I, I think for me it's better to be away because I feel in that way we kind of like control the situation. It's, it's really hard when people do not understand the situation and, it, yeah. and they think you, you're gay because you're like, you just want to be gay. Yeah. And that's not true. Like, that you don't choose to be gay, you just yeah. feel it. Sure. The favorite part is that with him I can be myself and something that I really like of him he's very, he's very special he's sometimes very cute who makes me very happy it doesn't matter if you like no. like men or girls like if you like someone I think you should go and yeah, tell them don't be afraid. the worst thing that happens is that they will say no and that's it and yeah. you're gonna get over it and you're gonna keep your life but if you don't tell them then you don't know if they will say yes just be brave and go for it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>